There's light in the lawmaking tunnel. EPA poised to unleash major anti-pollution rules and keeping schools protected from storms. That and more on Construction News Tracker brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. In a rare showing of bipartisanship, both houses of Congress have passed a $12.3 billion water bill a small glimmer of light in the long legislative tunnel. By a vote of 412 to 4 in the House and 91 to 7 in the Senate, the word of bill fleshes out new water infrastructure projects nationwide, mainly creating larger ports along our coastlines to accommodate the expanded cargo ships now being built, which translates to thousands of future construction jobs. As the days dwindle down, it's crunch time for the Highway Transportation Fund. The federal DOT prefers to keep a minimum $4 billion to manage transactions, and the latest estimate is that the level will be reached by July 25th. Even though August 29th is projected for the entire balance to be gone, reauthorization needed by the end of September, otherwise every national infrastructure project will stop. With that in mind, Arkansas DOT has announced that it has pulled 10 projects off its bid letting ledger for April 2015 because it has no confidence of the $60 million to pay for them. In a rare show of bipartisanship, the Senate Environmental and Public Works Committee has passed its version of a highway bill and a six-year plan to keep current funding plus inflation. Spearheaded by a four-member bipartisan team, they say they intend to see a fully funded infrastructure bill come to fruition. Speaking for them, Senator Barbara Boxer. The reason the four of us are standing here is to send a strong signal to this country that we, as leaders of this committee, have worked to act across party lines before the Highway Trust Fund cannot pay its bills. For those of you who follow this issue, you know that the Highway Trust Fund is expected to run out of money later this summer, which would be devastating to thousands of businesses, millions of workers across the country, not to mention every American that uses roads or transportation systems. Republican President Dwight Eisenhower had the vision to set up our federal interstate system in the 50s. And I am proud to stand here today, united with my colleagues, to say that we intend to keep the promise that he made to the American people, that we will always have a strong national transportation system. At a time when 70,000 of our nation's bridges are structurally deficient and 50 percent of our roads are in less than good condition, we must act, and that is what we intend to do. The measure of courts awaits full Senate approval, plus House bill, plus actual funding by the various appropriations committees. Well, it must be springtime because a surge in multifamily housing construction is underway. U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development reports total housing production jumped 13.2 percent in April. That's pushed by an increase in multifamily housing construction of 39.6 percent while single-family housing holds its own. Expect the Environmental Protection Agency to roll out a carbon crackdown measure any day. The signature anti-pollution measure from the administration expected to begin a death knell for coal-fired power plants and significantly expand on the use of solar and wind energy production efforts, but a potential boon for the construction industry down the road. A Salt Lake City architectural firm has come up with a way to protect people during devastating natural events. Leland Gray Architects has adapted a concrete thin shell structural idea into a domed building it claims is virtually indestructible. Schools, churches, arenas, and any facility used for large gatherings can be utilized. It's an air-formed thin shell concrete dome formed with a PVC material inflated by air and sprayed with a urethane substance. The technique has already been used in Utah and other states, is relatively inexpensive, and cuts utility costs as well. well. Here's a story for coffee breaks and water coolers. The category, anything is possible. Even a high-speed railway linking the U.S. with China. You heard right. It would begin in northeast China, run through Siberia, then in a 125-mile undersea channel tunnel under the Pacific through Alaska and Canada. 
China is said to be in talks with the Russian government about the 8,000-mile route. The Bering Strait Tunnel could be a challenge because it's four times the length of the Channel Tunnel that links England and France. We want to make note of an important upcoming event. The Transportation Construction Coalition Fly-In and Rally for Roads, June 10th to 11th in Washington, D.C. With the need to garner votes for reauthorization of the highway funding bill paramount, all of our support is needed. For Construction Pros and Construction News Tracker will be there, and we hope you will be too. Finally, the cost of living hasn't affected its popularity. This is Construction News Tracker, watching out for the industry that makes the world a better place. Brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. Reach us anytime at facebook.com forward slash 4constructionpros or at Twitter where you can share us with friends or leave a comment using hashtag construction news as the streaming web never ends.